Today I'm going to be talking about the Cortec Omega Paddle. Specs are on the screen right now for you. Before we get started, Cortec did send me this paddle to review. All these opinions are my own and they have not seen this video before it was published. Because it's just natural to compare this paddle to the Alpha, let's just talk about the ways that they're the same. I'll talk about the ways that they're different and then I'll give you my opinion on this paddle. So in the ways that they're the same, they both have the same shape and they both have the same length handle at six inches long. And they kind of sacrifice shape for handle length so that you can get two hands on the handle and get your two-handed forehands and your two-handed backhands in. I think that's very favorable for people coming over from tennis who are used to having two hands on a racket. They can now easily get two hands on the paddle as well. They're also both the same in the fact that they're foam injected. They both have a foam injected core where each of the cells in the honeycomb core is filled with foam. Let's talk about how they differ. The alpha has a 3K carbon fiber surface, while the Omega has an 18K carbon fiber surface. This makes this a much stiffer face, and that's going to mean you're going to need a lot softer touch in order to get control. But it's also going to give you more pop and more power. Another way that they differ is the core material the Alpha has a polypropylene core where the Omega has a Nomex core. And that really changes the way this paddle sounds. It doesn't sound like your standard paddle. I mean, the foam is naturally going to do that. I'm sure if you've been on the courts and you've heard a Yola or you've heard one of the gearboxes, these sound even different from those. Totally different sound. This particular one, I've noticed, it cracks when I hit the ball, which it, it, there's no pop. It's more like a crack. This paddle plays harder and certainly faster off the face than the Alpha does. One of the things with having a, this foam injected core, it does make these paddles head heavy, which can make the paddle feel heavier. This paddle is 8.3 ounces and the paddle that I normally play with is 8.7 ounces but this paddle feels heavier because the weight is more towards the head of the paddle. Now that gives you two things. That gives you a lot more stability when you're blocking shots and it also gives you plow through for power. Um, this has got power for days and that is an amazing thing. When, when I play with this, I notice that there's a lot, a lot of power, but I lose my touch and my feel with this. I'm used to more of an all-court paddle, and this is way over on the power side when it comes to playability. This particular model that I got also has a different grip on it than the Alpha does. The Alpha has this um, ribbed handle, Whereas this Omega has a smooth handle. I think you can get this in both options. I more prefer a smoother handle than this ribbed surface. So I was happy to see that. One thing that I will say that uh, I don't like about this handle is it feels a lot more square in my hand than most other paddles. So it makes it a little bit harder for me to index the paddle when I'm trying to make my shots. I tend to switch grips depending on the shot that I'm taking and having a more octagonal handle makes it a lot easier for me to index the paddle. So I found myself looking down a lot while playing with this in order to see where my hand was on the paddle when I was making my shot selection. So the 16 millimeter core on this as well as the alpha is very reactive. You're going to feel the ball come off the paddle. You're going to feel a lot more power than maybe you're used to if you're playing with uh, say a Vatic or a bread and butter or even a, uh, a diamond or a ruby 
from 6.0. Lots more pop, lots more power. Now, the, the one thing that I have noticed about this paddle, and you can listen to this, it's kind of crackling right there, especially. I don't know if that's the face of the paddle coming off or if it's just uh, the nature of the core. The Alpha does not do that. Um, I have played more games with this than I have with the Alpha because I wanted to get a better feel for it and see, see how it would work for me. It's just not a paddle for me, for my style of play. Again, players who are looking for power and who are looking for pop, this is the paddle for you. I will say that if you're a beginner, I would shy away from this paddle until you've, you know, maybe got a couple months under you of play. You're going to want to be at least a 3-0. The only caveat to that is if you're coming from a racket sport and you're familiar with being able to control uh, your swings and things like that, that might be the exception to that. So that's been the Cortec Omega. I think overall it's a great paddle, but for someone with the way that I play, it's just not a paddle for me. My name's John, your Gen X grandpa. Thanks for watching this video. And the fit for this video has been, I can't, I have church and pickleball, which my daughter got me for my birthday. All right, thanks. Bye.